have his part dedicated. Give me to liberty him. or give me death. Right there. Is life so dear or peace so sweet as to purchase the price of chains and slavery? Forbid it, almighty God. I know not what course others may take. But as for me, give me liberty or give me death, Patrick Henry, right behind me. Prominent among the big wig statemen was Patrick Henry, a well-respected lawyer from Hanover County. The roughly 120 delegates who filled the Richmond St. John's Church were a veritable who's who of Virginia's colonial leaders. George Washington and Thomas Jefferson were both in the attendance, as were five of the six other Virginians who would later sign the Declaration of Independence. The church was built in 1741 as part of the Henrico Parish, which was established in 1611. It was here on March 23rd 1775 that Patrick Henry delivered his famous liberty or death speech to the second Virginia convention. Henry was convinced that the war was around the corner and he arrived at the Virginia convention determined to persuade his fellow delegates to adopt a defensive stance against Great Britain. As we look into this chapter it was this spot where he put forward a resolution proposing that Virginia's counties raise militiamen. Quote, to secure our inestimable rights and liberty from those further violations with which they are threatened." End quote. St. John's Church is an active Episcopal church and a National Historic Landmark in the middle of Richmond, Virginia. A little bit of history here. This section right here, that's where the church was. These two parts have been added on. Underneath here, the graveyard still continues underneath that building. If you get underneath, you'll be able to see some grave sites. This is the only place in the area where they thought they could be away from the governor and be able to have the little congressional conference here and hold 150 people. It's a great little church. It's very beautiful. They still is very active. They just got out of services just a little bit ago and just a beautiful place to come visit. St. John's Church Graveyard is a public cemetery in Richmond. Today there's approximately 400 visible grave markers. It's fun to walk around and read each of the markers. Additional markers have been lost by time. It is estimated that over 1,300 people are buried here. One of the interesting memorials to see is Elizabeth Eliza Arnold Hopkins Poe, who died on December 8, 1881. She was an English actress and the mother of American author Edgar Allan Poe. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volumes of forgotten lore, while I nodded nearly napping, Suddenly, there came a tapping as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Nevermore, nevermore, nevermore. As we ponder each separate dying ember, wroth is ghostly upon the floor. There are several notable grave sites here at the St. John's Church. So says John Page an early Virginia governor. Do you realize he was a Federalist and he supported the adoption of the U.S. Constitution and was one of Virginia's Electoral College members for the first presidential election in 1789? And he cast his vote for George Washington. Way to go. Another would be Rebecca Lewis Burwell Ambler, the child of a well-connected family who married a predominant man and became the mother-in-law of Chief Justice John Marshall, for those who love history. Today, she is chiefly known for the object of Thomas Jefferson's 
first adolescent crush. Oh, how sweet. I love affair. Other notables would be James Thomas Callender, Dr. James McClurg, James Mercer, James Wood, and of course, George Wyeth. Let's take a couple minutes and talk about George as we finish up this tour. George Wyeth was a representative from Virginia and a signatory of the Declaration of Independence. He was a classical scholar, a lawyer, and a judge. Wyatt was also an abolitionist who freed his slaves and made provisions for them until they could care for themselves. In 1775, he was elected to attend the Congressional Congress. Wyeth was an early opponent of the Stamp Act and the mentor to Thomas Jefferson, Henry Clay, and James Monroe, our forefathers. So if you look at this memorial, it states, The mortal remains of George Wyeth died 1806. Jurist and statement, teacher of Randolph Jefferson and Marshall, first professor of law in the United States, and, for a little bit of facts, first Virginia signer of the Declaration of Independence. As we finish off with taps, I just want to take time to remember our founding fathers for the sacrifice they have done for us for our liberties. This is George, the Fearless Rambler, humbly signing off. <laughs>